Hey guys, this is Aspire and welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm gonna be doing a short review with my new CPU cooler called the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition. I ordered this CPU cooler from Rosada for 2,945 pesos or $57 on discount. The reason why I ordered this cooler is that the liquid cooler, which was the Segotep WC Haro 240BL, is heating up my Ryzen 3 1300X from 65 Celsius from idle to 95C on road, which is painful for my Ryzen CPU. I tried everything to fix my water cooler from heating up the 95C with no solution. So I decided to buy this cooler instead and see on how good this cooler cools down and save my CPU from this type of situation. Unboxing this CPU cooler, this package was wrapped by bubble wrap and this carton box, which was tape. Opening it was tough, but at least I'm able to see the box of the Hyper 212. Opening the inside, we have the accessories for the cooler, which is a one PWM to 2 PWM connector if you want to have 2 fan for push pull and brackets with screws for a cooler and we have the manual and documentation looking at this and my god I'm in love with this cooler the fan is a Serencio FP120 which says it includes exclusive silent driver IC technology which allows it to reduce noise and power output and uses a 4 pin PWM for your CPU fan on your motherboard. The heatsink design uses a 4 heat pipes for excellent dissipation of heat and uses a nickel black aluminum fins instead of the grey aluminum fins that you see on the older models like the Hyper 212 EVO or the Hyper 212. The specs of this cooler are great since the height of the cooler is 158mm which means this cooler can fit into most PC cases as long the PC case height is about 158 or 160mm above height support for this cooler. The cooler is about 79.6 wide which means you can fit any RAM height with no problem and issues and 120 high which is good. It supports Intel and AMD which you can see on the screen. After I unboxed the cooler, I started to remove that water cooler that I never want to own again and started installing the Hyper 212 into my PC and moved the fans to the front for intake. The installation was hard because the case that I reviewed from a few videos ago, which you can check it out in the description or in the comment section, was hard. Like legit, I can't fit the bracket to the case because the hole for the easy cooler installation wasn't too big for it to fit. Or like try to install it is like very complicated that I, I, I forced myself to remove the motherboard and get random motherboard box to place the board safely and install it. It was frustrating for me to install but that's what first time people suffer when installing an air tower cooler for the first time. If you want to know how to install this cooler, I'll just leave two videos on the comment sections for you to know how to install it for AMD and Intel.
After the installation, I started benchmarking the cooler and wow, the temps just dramatically fell to 35 Celsius instead of 65 Celsius above. Then when I started stressing the CPU, the max was 50 Celsius, which is still low, which is good. Even overclocking the Ryzen 3 1300X from 3.5 to 3.8 GHz, it's still very cool and doesn't reach 60 above, which I'm really happy. Even when you play games, the FPS boosted so much that the max average when I play Rainbow Six Siege on high was like 70 above or something, instead of 60 dipping below 40 because of that crappy water cooler I owned. What are my thoughts about the cooler? Well, the temps are great, it runs silent even under full load or full speed on the fan, and it feels simple and cool at the same time. I highly recommend this cooler, and if you wanna buy this yourself, there are plenty of sites like Zada, Newegg, Amazon, or other retail sites and stores you can buy for your build or upgrade. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked my review, then hit the like button if you don't dislike it. Subscribe to my channel for more PC tech reviews, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.